good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in the world. This is Gloria White and Annie coming to you from Utah, USA. And today we're going to be in chapter 22 in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Now the Lord is speaking to Judah. Thus saith the Lord, Go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there, un there this word. Now he's sending Jeremiah to Judah. And say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sitteth upon the throne of David, thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by, thy, by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Execute ye justice, or dispense justice, and righteousness, and deliver the spoiled, or the plundered, out of the hand of the oppressor, and do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in this place. For if ye do this thing, indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house kings sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. Now here's a prophecy unfulfilled in verse 5. But if ye will not hear these words, I swear by myself, saith the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation, and now you can find this in Hebrews 6, 13, and 17, and Matthew 23, 38. Verse 6. For thus saith the Lord unto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Gilead unto me, and the head of, the, of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make thee a wilderness, and cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapons. And they shall cut down thy choice cedars, and cast them into the fire. And many nations shall pass by this city, and they shall say every man to his neighbor, Wherefore hath the Lord done un thus unto this great city? Then they shall answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods, and served them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither be no bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goeth away, for he shall return no more, nor see his native country. For thus saith the Lord, touch and shall him, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Josiah his father, which went forth out of his place. He shall not return thither any more. But he shall die in the place whither they have led him captive, and shall see this land no more. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers or his high chambers by wrong or injustice, that useth his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. That saith, I will build me a wide house, and large chambers, or upper chambers, and cutteth him out windows, and it sealed with cedar, or paneled with cedar, and painted uh, with vermilion. Thou shalt reign, because thy closest, closest thyself in cedar, or enclose thyself in cedar. Did not thy father eat and drink, and do justice, or judgment and justice, or justice and righteousness? And then it was well with him. Saying, when your father did the right thing, it was good with him. 
He judgeth the cause of the poor and needy. Then it was well with him. Was not this to know me, saith the Lord? But thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy covetousness, for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression and for violence to do it. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, They shall not lame it for him, saying, Ah, oh, my brother, or Ah, oh, sister. They shall not lame it for him, saying, Ah, oh, Lord, or Ah, oh, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of an ass, drawn or dragged and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon, and cry, and lift up thy voice to Bashan, and cry from the passages, for all thy lovers are destroyed. I spake unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou sayest, I will not hear. This hath been thy manner from thy youth, and thou obeyest not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors or shepherds, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then thou shalt be ashamed and confounded or humiliated for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, thou makest thy nest in the cedars. How gracious shalt thou be when pangs come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in travail or childbirth. As I live, saith the Lord, Thou Koanah, or that's Je Jehoachin, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, wear the signet upon his right hand, yet will I pluck thee thence. I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest, even into the hand of of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans, or the Babylonians. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee, into another country, where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land whereunto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man Kohenai, or Jehoiakim, Chen, a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, are, and are cast into a land which they know not? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. The Lord has had it. When he said, oh, earth, 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 three times for emphasis, he's really crying out to them, but... They won't listen. Are you listening? Are you following his commandments and what he taught? I sure hope so. Because it's not going to be well with you if you're not. <laughs> or well with me if I don't. So, just know how much he loves us. And one day we'll all be together in heaven and live forever and ever. Amen. And as always, I love you.